Hello, welcome to another Drill Master video critique, this time brought to you by my book, Exhibition Drill for the Military Drill Team, Volume 2. This book is a little bit more uh, usable for soloists and tandems. It, I created a, uh, a drill language that uh, a move language, I should say, for for rifles, and you can even expand that into uh, into movement, uh, but with the body, hands, things like that. So, anyway, uh, let's get into this. Let's see here. Where am I? There I am. All right. This video is for Vanna Asher, friend of mine. Uh, she's an Army J. Rotsy cadet, and she performed a solo at the Oklahoma State Championship. That's me in the background there judging. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, that was uh, unarmed exhibition. So Vanna was performing at the same time, and unfortunately I couldn't watch her. So here we go with a critique. And Vanna, I'm going to I'm going to use the World Drill Association uh, adjudication uh, system, and I'll give you a bit of information from composition analysis, overall effect, equipment and movement, uh, different categories there. All right, here we go. So you marched in and you could have performed in, which... All right, so, oh, you're from Nathan Hale. All right, so uh, you could have performed in and that would have been, uh, that would have been a, a, a bigger impact. I suggest always, and you can go to my website and look at the, uh, the, the seven parts of an exhibition routine. And it really b helps break everything down. And I'll link to that in the show notes below. But uh, it really helps break everything down to look at things as as individual parts and not just the whole. I, I You have the whole anyway, but to break it down into an individual part and then concentrate on that and say, well, what am I going to do for my opening statement? Then what am I, what, when I finish that, and that should just be a few seconds, then as I, uh, as I step off and approach the judge, how am I going to perform into the judge? Now, if you're... Uh, the wonderful thing about the Oklahoma State Championship was that you could enter from anywhere. And I so appreciate that because that really instills uh, uh, the ability for all of the, the performers to be as creative as possible. When you're relegated to just one little corner that you have to enter from and exit from, it really hinders you, the creativity and you run out of entrance and exit ideas eventually. And you can perform for years and, and, and create different entrances and exits, but eventually you're going to run out and then it, it, there's the, the stifling of creativity, which I really do not appreciate, honestly. So, all right, so you perform in, you could perform in, and then you come up to the judge. Good. Now you just adjusted the rifle so it's not where you wanted it to be and i get that but don't adjust the rifle because it looks like you're adjusting the rifle and it also looks like it isn't where you want it to be when you perform you need to make sure that the that your communication to your judge especially to your audience is that everything that i have just accomplished everything that i have just done is exactly the way i wanted it to be exactly with you adjusting the rifle here, that means that there was a slight problem that uh, could, you know, it could impact your thinking later on as you're performing. So, and I appreciate the looking away, uh, uh, drawing, uh, uh, drawing emphasis away from you and then bringing it right back. That was uh, unique. All right, so butt slam there that was on the toe of the rifle. So obviously it bounced away. So you want to make those slams as solid as possible. Okay, and I knew you were going to start marching again. All right, so one of the things, you handle the rifle really well. And again, this, not again, but this is an 
eight and a half pound rifle. This is you're either drilling with a, a Daisy or a, or a, a Glendale 1903. And for you're small, you know, you're small. I mean, the picture that we have together is, you know, you're practically half the size of me, but, um, but you handle the rifle so well. Um, and I'm really impressed by that. Your spins are just fantastic. You do a great job. However, uh, one of the one of the issues that a lot of soloists and a lot of tandems have is they try to cover every square inch of that whole drill floor. And if I remember, this was 35 by 35 feet, something like that. Not exactly sure, but the the size in in this case really doesn't matter. What you what a lot of the soloists and tandems do is they try to move to a corner or a side. They they perform to a side, start spinning after they halt, do a couple of things, and then they execute a facing movement, and then start performing to a, a corner. And then they execute a facing movement. Now, I don't know exactly if you're going to do that continuously, but when you when you execute a facing movement in an exhibition drill performance, after you've been in you've been performing and creating your routines for several years now, I believe you're a senior. So uh, and obviously you didn't start at the beginning of this school year just spinning a rifle that would be almost impossible to for you to be at this level uh, in just a few months so let's say it's been to probably three years at at, at minimum it this, this could be your fourth year but what the the point I'm trying to make is that it doesn't make sense so you're spinning and you're you're moving and you've created a a, a nice performance so far coming up to the judge again, could have performed in, but coming up to the judge and then moving away from the judge, as you move away, then you were able to uh, manipulate the rifle. You stopped and manipulated the rifle some more. You worked on some some nice orientation there. It helped. Remember, I'm talking now from the perform to side where the where the video is is being made. And that perform to side then is where you need to concentrate on having your audience. So uh, your orientation, you're, you're facing the audience at a certain time where it makes the most effect. And that was good. Sometimes the, the greater effect is facing away from the audience to, the, to one of the sides. It just depends on the rifle move. Sometimes it could be facing away from the audience. Again, it just depends. So here... You, uh, your orientation was great. Your your rifle work is is really good so far, but then you execute an uh, almost a facing movement, and instead of letting the rifle take you around so far, now again we have another two and a quarter minutes of this performance, or at least of the recording. So. Uh, Instead of letting the rifle take you where you were going to go next, you've let it, you've, you've pushed the rifle, so to speak, in that direction. So you didn't go to that other corner, but you've gone to this corner, which is fine. I really like that setup. That was just great. Very effective. Very unique way to uh, to do that. So you have a heavy reliance and an about face. So see you. So my my prediction is is partly coming true to where you'll you're, you're performing facing performing facing it's just not lending itself it's 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 like you're you're performing exhibition drill during this sequence but then regulation drill during this sequence and then you're going back to exhibition drill and then regulation drill so as as your timeline or maybe I should go this way for the viewers as your timeline progresses then it's not making sense all that much in the exhibition drill uh, expectation that somebody would have watching the performance. So 
not that this is a horrible performance. I'm just saying that as this goes, it's it's not purely the the flow is not working well. Now, see, that was a great transition across the drill floor. That was wonderful. So watch your feet here. Do you do you want your feet separated? And if so, because it to me as a judge, it looks like you wanted your feet together, your heels together at a 45 degree angle, and yet you just couldn't quite make it. So you just left your feet there, which I understand, but you want to make sure that each of your movements, if each of your positions is purposeful. And you just you just made an adjustment step to be centered on the judge. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that at all. Again, regulation drill requires us to march in, be centered on the judge. You don't have to, re in exhibition drill, especially a solo and even a tandem, you don't have to be centered on the judge to report in. You just, you, you, per, re, sorry, you report in from anywhere on the field anywhere you want it doesn't matter just because you're you're not centered you could have improvised right there since you weren't centered and in, even if you weren't even facing the judge then you could have turned your head or shoulders and head and head something like that that would have helped increase that effectiveness <laughs> nice work. That's good. So, an over the head with that rifle. The over the head. Uh, I would uh let me stop this here. So, I would I would appreciate it being uh horizontal. Uh but still you attempted and accomplished an angled at least over the head so that was and a single hand as it uh, as it was so that was that was just fantastic so also now and this is just a recommendation uh, instead of standing here and and performing all of this <clears throat> back up march backwards do uh, the 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 movement that you did with the rifle uh, and then uh, taking the large steps and turning, doing the 180s that you did just before, um, you could incorporate something like that. Similar, not an exact copy, but something similar to move backwards. So uh, allowing the rifle to take you around the, the floor is going to be so much more, oh, excuse me, so much more effective in your communication for your audience. Um, now, beginning drillers you know obviously we expect them to to be at that beginning level and they're exploring and experiencing whereas now you're applying more advanced standards so you have those those advanced standards in much of your marching uh, much of your movement uh, but also advanced standards in your rifle manipulation as well so when you get when you all of a sudden drop down to an about face or a left face or something like that, then that's the that's what I'm I'm trying to say doesn't make sense. And so your staging here is so facing away, like I said, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So now right there, I don't know why you faced away. And Okay, and performing out too, um, and again with with Oklahoma State Championship here, you didn't have to go in and out in the same place. Could have gone out in another another uh, way. So uh, I I definitely encourage you to see the uh, the seven parts of an exhibition drill routine, and and see how to break that down, and then 
uh, usually when you break things down, it really opens up ideas and opens up a better understanding of what's actually expected on the drill floor. So whether you're brand new or whether you're advanced, uh, anybody could learn something from uh, from that, that breakdown. So Vanna, uh, outstanding performance here. Uh, and you consistently manipulate the rifle uh, but uh, but at a high level you you didn't tire out you didn't get uh, you didn't let the the rifle well you've you've obviously been been working constantly with it so you you didn't let that rifle seem like it was getting heavier throughout the performance which sometimes happens as you uh, as you tire and get weaker but you you did an outstanding job I'm I'm very pleased with that performance now um, there are a couple of things that you could work on you know, for any other other performances for the rest of this year but uh, well done uh, I, I really appreciate it excellent okay so uh, that's it for that one and uh, again, thanks, Vanna. Appreciate it.